So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot speed from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to bend. He's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the cops. for this featherweight tilt. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Best in the business, Drew Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Ready. Great to be back in the H-Town tonight. We are in Houston, Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history from my man, DC. B. Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes tonight. This arena's been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. Gene Velasquez, the leader of the Texas title in this arena, too. And also home to the greatest NBA franchise in history. The Houston Rockets. Tonight they will go. No, tonight the UFC players will be possibility. But every night James Harden is now Russell Westbrook. Put on the oh, 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 how about the judo toss there? It's not as easy as it looks, I can assure you. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's going full mount. Just over three minutes to go. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands being a veteran of so many... We might get a stoppage here soon. <laughs> Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding rocking big shots. Oh! Well, he right grounded back. him, and now right he's back. trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Heavy shots raining down. He's got to be careful here. Down. 
if you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off with a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. But if you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push it. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. And that one certainly stopped the target. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice level change. Trying to recover from the guard there. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Big ground and pound. Gotta be careful here. Oh, right into mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Ooh, that's tight. Might just be a matter of time now. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense have done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Final seconds here. Oh, oh, no. Stop. Breathe deep and recover. Excellent job that round. Every punch you throw seems to be landing. I want you to keep that going. Don't get into.
All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. Shot to the heart. Just misses with that one. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Big power shots landing. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. That was a slick transition. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. All right, close guard now. Lands a nice punch from his back. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, big shots from the top. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. He passes to half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Mm, that was nice. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're in the top side, you gotta to the finish, continue to gain posture, and rain Come down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, he got through spot. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. And now he's inside the All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the box. Stop, stop, stop. What a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And doing work with the jab. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, they made all... Well, well, just like he showed up with us on Thursday. Catches the kick, counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job countering with that nice takedown. Great fight IQ, seeing that kick coming and turning it into his offense. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, 
his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Ooh, nice. Oh, beautiful transition right into side control. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Less than two minutes now to go. Great ground and pound by this man. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Side control now. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Final seconds of round four. All right, feet on the hips here. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, nice work in there. Excellent ground control. You're really showing the judges that you're in charge. Next time we get it down to the ground, I want you to start. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. Right through the goal. He's attacking the guillotine. And now some separation. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. Oh, he smokes. All right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flip him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the armbar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his... Oh! Nice judo toss for him there. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Nicely done there as he's in the miss for the oh. All right. Under a minute now to go in the fight. 
Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe just big, big Watch shots up. landed by him now. No mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 35 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Dog. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends. As long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges, he got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.